tempest rages, I shall not be moved. On the rock of ages, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Oh, glory, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be We're glad to see everyone this morning. We want to say welcome to the house of God and welcome to our morning devotional service. I'm sure we do appreciate the presence of God. One more time in our midst, and we do appreciate the beautiful prelates by the choir. We had Timothy give us um, um, a piano voluntary, and I think the tune is something we thoroughly enjoyed. After which the choir sang or sang Sing for Joy, and we just heard that uh, quartet, I shall not be moved. We're going to join in to sing for some more joy this morning by starting with number 539, SNS 539, The Lord's Our Rock, In Him We Hide. We're going to sing that and some more songs, and Brother Tony will be our song leader. The Lord's a rock in him we hide. Amen. A shelter in the time of storm. We'll sing heartily through the three verses of the song after the introduction. <laughs> Also saying again from CGS, Collected Gospel Songs, hymn number 130. 130 is our next song. <clears throat> All that draw me I have left behind. Yes. Here in Canaan, better joys I find. Amen. Peace abiding, blessings unconfined. For I am living in Canaan now. Again, Amen. we will sing from, uh, sing verses 1, 3, and 4. Verses 1, 3, and 4 after the intro.
there's um, a chorus I like us to sing. La 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 la. We are pressing on toward the land of Canaan, just beyond. Just beyond the brink of Jordan's tide. Is that chorus 35? Well, we're going to. 37. Okay. We're going to sing it two times. We're going to sing it twice. A very good match in pace. Thank you. We are pressing toward the land of Canaan. Just we have the brief of God as We have been the prospects that are standing. It is what we see in our mind. For the land we seek must be my conquest. I will stop before the thing is wrong. I am to be seen and I will stop as well. Stand before us now. Commands us now, but strong. Yeah. Our next song is 494. He is sending signals. Amen. Says, Hold the fort, for I am coming. Amen. He's coming to help us. He's riding upon the storms. He shall not keep silence. It shall be very tempestuous around him. Oh, my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing. Victory is nigh. He's just telling you, hang in there. I'm nearly there. After the intro, we'll sing heartily verses 1, 2, and 4.
Amen. 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 And our song before prayer is um, CGS 156. 156. And it says, O oh Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Amen. Be thou forever near me, Amen. my master and my friend. Amen. I shall not fear the battle Amen. if thou art by my side, yes. nor wander from the pathway if thou wilt be my guide. Amen. This is a prayer song, the song of commitment. We're going to sing through all the five verses prayerfully, meaningfully, thoughtfully, and we shall sing the last verse standing up and we shall remain standing. After that, we shall be read, led in prayer. Heavens, where Brother Francis will lead us in prayer. Our friend, Amen. our Lord, Amen. our Savior, Amen. our Father, Amen. our Brother, Amen. our All in All, Amen. we worship you this morning. Amen. We adore you, O Lord. Amen. We thank you, Amen. the Rock of Ages, 
thou, O oh Lord, that can never fail. We praise your holy name, O oh God. Thank you, Lord God, that the rock from which the Israelites drank in the wilderness is our rock today. Because that rock is Jesus Christ. We thank you, dear Lord, that we can trust you. We can rest upon your promises. Lord God, we can look up unto you at all times. Father in heaven, we can have our faith in you. Unwaving faith, oh Lord God. Trusting that thou who has promised you are faithful. And that which you have promised you will do. We give you glory and honor. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, hold our hands. Let us always see your footsteps. So that we can put ours there. And Lord God, you can hold our hands to eternity. Lord, pray for us this morning. Speak your word, O oh Lord. Let it come out with power. Let it be backed up by your authority. O oh Lord, this morning we pray that you will save souls. And Lord God, we ask that you will sanctify. We pray that you will baptize with Holy Ghost and fire. We pray, O oh Lord God, that you will encourage someone here today. Heal, O oh Lord God. Those ailments, those sicknesses, those troubles, those problems, those needs, oh Lord God, that are apparently impossible for man to resolve. We know if you could bring water out of the rock, there is nothing impossible with you. Oh Lord, let those problems vanish today. Let those sicknesses disappear today. Let those needs be met today. Thank you, Lord, for we know you have done it. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Once again, we are welcome to our Sunday devotional service. We want to say we appreciate all those who are probably joining us for the first time. And all our visitors, we say may God bless you Amen. as we worship God together this morning.
spring of living water. Oh, wonderful and bountiful song. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Verses 1 through to 9. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through to 9. The first nine verses in Joshua chapter 1. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. Amen. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you, with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make it thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Nine and the last. Have not I commanded thee... Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest.
Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. 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 Greetings from uh, our branch in Manchester. Glad to see you once again. Though for the first time this year, so I can happily say Happy New Year to you. Yeah. Thank God for keeping us alive to this moment. Uh, God has encourage us enough in the Sunday school. Yes. But he still feels we need more because the journey is still ongoing and we need much of encouragement. As you need it, so I need it. So pray for me that God will help me. Amen. As I pray for you that God will help you and see us through this journey in Jesus' name. Amen. What is God encouraging you and me on this morning is that you should keep going. Amen. 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 Keep going. Amen. Amen. God knows why he's bringing that message. God has seen that there are circumstances surrounding us that seems to want us to say we want to take a rest. And God knows that if we take that rest, it is going to be for our doom. We will not reach that place he has destined for us. And that is why he's telling you and me this morning that we should keep going. Amen. Say, keep going. Amen. And you know, before you keep going, you must have started a journey. You cannot just wake up one morning and you want to keep going. Where? You must have started the journey. Yeah. And who is to start this journey? And where is this journey from? The journey is for both the young and the old. The journey does not have age restriction. It is not only for the young, or neither is it only for the old, nor is it for one set of age. It is for everyone. Amen. Some may feel this journey is optional. But I want to tell you, it is not a kind of optional in the sense that if you choose not to go on this journey, you've already taken a decision about your destination. But my prayer is that as many as are present here this morning, we make the right choice of embarking on this journey Amen. to life. Amen. What is this journey about? It is the journey from death to life. Yeah. It is the journey from sin to righteousness. Amen. It is the journey from Egypt. You know where your Egypt was. Or you know where your Egypt is. To the promised land, Cana, our heavenly home. Amen. When you look at the beginning of this journey to the end of the journey, you will see that it is a necessity. No one will want to be in debt. You want to move from debt to life. I don't think anybody will desire to be in sin. You want to move out of sin to righteousness. May God help us to make the right choice. Amen. There are some people who have started this journey and God is encouraging them to keep going. But on the other hand, there are people who have not started. They are still on the platform of should I start or should I not? They are still on the platform of ah, a lot are on this journey. What? When will they get there? Why will I get into a journey that I don't know when I will get there? If you are in that state this morning, I implore you to make the right choice to embark on this journey. 
And the leader of this journey will be with you. Amen. Before we can start this journey, there must be a divine intervention. It is not a journey you just wake up one morning and say, okay, I, I, I want to start this journey. Where is the road? There must be a divine intervention. And that intervention is the manifestation of the love of God. How was this love made manifest? You know, each time we talk about love, we, it goes wide. And a lot of people have misinterpreted what love is. A lot of people are blind to what the true love is. There is just one love, and that is the love of God. Yeah. Every other love can be described for those who did biology, ameba. A love that changes based on circumstances. I love you because, I love that thing because, once they're because it's not there, the love disappears. But Jesus' love, it is not because we loved him, but he first loved us Amen. and gave himself for us. Amen. That is the perfect love. It is that love that will not want you to perish in your life of sin and we do everything to move you out of your life of sin to the life of righteousness. Amen. It is that love that feels that where you are in Egypt, you are a slave. You don't have your freedom. There is a master overruling you. And God in heaven, because of the love he has for you, he's saying, no, you are born to be a prince. Amen. You are born to be the head. Amen. You are not born to be a slave. Amen. And so don't be a slave to sin. Amen. My son, can you please be on this journey and walk with me to righteousness? Yeah. It is the love of God. Yeah. And God himself knew that there was no way this journey could begin without the shedding of the blood of Jesus. Before the children of Israel left the land of Egypt, God having tried, now showing his love for the children of Israel to begin this journey, he felt that, my children, there's nowhere you can go. You can't start your journey to the land of Canaan. I need to make a sacrifice because you need the blood along the way. You need the blood to protect you. You need the blood as a sign that I am going and I can't deliver you. And we all know the account of the Passover. It took place and they moved out of Egypt. So are you to begin this journey that blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary as a manifestation of his love for mankind must be availed for you. Amen. Must be applied into your heart. Yes. And that is described in a simple, uh, simple word, salvation. Amen. That's the purpose of that love. Yes. Because in John 10, the Bible says, he came for one purpose. And that purpose is that we might have life. Amen. And have it in abundance. Amen. In other words, Jesus has come so that you can begin your journey from death yeah. unto life. Yes. You know, not just an ordinary life. Eternal life. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful love. Amen. My prayer is that as many as have not allowed that true love to make itself manifest in their life this morning. 
May it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, when you begin the journey, you know what happened to the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt? They were so happy. They were so happy. It was as if at that point in time they should just jump from Egypt and land in Canaan. They were very happy. So it is. When you make up your mind to start this journey, many of us have given testimonies. That day, that blood availed for me. It was as if I was walking in the air. That day, it was as if heaven should open and let me get in there. We wish at that point in time that we should just move from this world to the earth. So the children of Israel did. They wished they could just move from the gate of Egypt and land in the gate of Canaan. But God says, not so. That there is a journey. And in that journey, there are a lot of things we need to learn. There are a lot of things we need to go through. There are a lot of things we need to prove God. And God needs to prove us. That is why the songwriter says, it is not an easy road. It is not an easy road. Now you've allowed the blood to avail for you. You have started the journey. Remember your wish. Not knowing what is on the way. But at the same time, you know where you are going to. The children of Israel knew they were going to the land of Canaan, their promised land. So when you are saved from your life of sin, the assurance of going to heaven comes into your heart. And you are happy and you wish that you get there. But my brother and my sister, along the way, there are red seas. <coughs> along the way, there are mountains and valleys that you must pass through. But that is why God is saying, keep going. Amen. Do not allow all these circumstances to frighten you. Amen. Remember when the children of Israel came out of the land of Egypt? <laughs> Little did they know that there was going to be a Red Sea. And we all, we've learned in our lesson, we all know how we reacted. Most times, we do say, why did they do this? But most times, I tell myself, if I was there, I would do worse. Because even now in the life we are, even with the enough comfort we have, we complain more than the children of Israel. These were the people that came out of the land were told in a hurry. Nothing. My son, they were saying no instrument in the Sunday school. There was no instrument of what? That one is even high level. There were nothing to keep them in comfort. Remember wilderness? Remember the journey? It's not the smooth road you have in UK. No. Rocks and valleys, stones, dust, and everything. And that was the way they were going to pass through to the land of Cana. When you got saved from your life of sin and you started the journey, God did not tell you the kind of highway you were going to follow. You are just following by faith. And it is that faith that will lead you home. Amen. Why do we have to keep going? Joshua 1, 2. God's Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. It's like saying, uh, Joshua, okay, 
You've been coming all the way along the journey. Moses has been coming with you. But now, Moses is dead. What are you waiting for? Get up. The journey still continues. Yeah. Has any Moses left you? Are you relaxed? Thinking of Moses? Or you are awake to continue the journey? God told Joshua, get up. Because the journey must be continued. We need to keep going because of what we are. In Romans 8, 37, what are we? We are more than conquerors. Amen. 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 We are more than conquerors. That is the reason we should keep going. You know, it is... He, 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 he said, he said the, 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 the winners don't quit. Yeah. And the quitters don't win. We are winners. Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. And we must keep on going. Amen. We will not fall by the wayside. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Why do we have to keep going? Verse 5 of our text, 5 and 6. Therefore shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Keep going because God is with you. Amen. 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 You are not alone. You know, there are times when we get into situations. Like we are told in our Sunday school this morning. The pillar of cloud was there. The, the, The other one was there. In other words, the presence of God was there. So what else do we want? But then, because of our human knowledge, we couldn't see God. But God is right there in front of us. So he's asking us, even though you may not see me just like Job said, he said, look at the right, left, center, everywhere. It was as if there was no God. But I know my Redeemer lived. Amen. Amen. There are times... There are times your physical eyes cannot see the presence of God. Yeah. Why is your eyes physical at that point in time? Because you've allowed the circumstances to envelop your eyes. Mm-hmm. But he's there with you. Amen. That's why you need to keep going. Yeah. Another reason you need to keep going yeah. is that your needs we be supplied. In Philippians 4.19, even when your wants are not met, there are some things we consider as our needs. But before God, they are our wants. And God feels, you don't need this. And he doesn't give it to you. But God is ever faithful to supply all that you needed to go on this journey. The rock that gave water this morning was already there. It was not that God just planted it there and rushed there so that he can give. The rock was already there. The rock was already there. All that you need in the journey. God is not just going to manufacture it. He has arranged them according to each stage. And you need to walk to each of the stages to make use of that need. Amen. Amen. Keep going, my brother. Keep going. And God will supply your needs. Another reason you must keep going is that you are the reason of someone's being in that journey. Have you ever considered that? You think you are on the journey yourself alone? Or for yourself alone? You are the reason of someone else being in that journey. What does that mean? The day I pull out, I'm not just pulling out myself from the journey, I am pulling a string. 
In Ruth chapter 1, verse 13, we know the story of Ruth and Naomi. Little did Naomi know that she was the reason of Ruth taking her stand. No wonder Ruth said, anywhere you are going to, whether you have the food, I will come. We will hunger together. We will thirst together. We will suffer together. Your God shall be my God. Amen. Your people shall be my people. Amen. You need to keep going because you are the reason of somebody being on this journey. May God not hold us responsible for the failure of our fellow pilgrimage. Most times, we make mistakes. We think that uh, it is only me and my family that we are on the journey. Someone that is watching you may not even be blood related. May not even be your uncle, your auntie. Could just be somewhere else. People don't read the Bible these days. They read you. You don't know who is watching you. Somebody is saying, oh, is if this sister has this testimony, the God who helped this sister yeah. is going to be my God. Yeah. Oh, if this brother I am looking at, he is going through all this, and yet his faith still stands. Oh, his God is going to be my God. Yeah. People are watching you. So why will you stop? My brother, don't stop. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. The Lord is going to strengthen you. Yeah. Another reason you need to keep going is because you've gone too far. Hmm. You've gone too far to look back. The songwriter says, Thus have we gone by faith. So far have we reached by faith. You've gone too far. It will, be, it will not be of any benefit. It won't be of any gain to go back. Can we just imagine if after the children of Israel had crossed the first hurdle of the Red Sea and they decided that, Moses, please let us go back. How will they go? Because our God is a forward God. Yes. I'm sure God will not go back to say, Moses, open the Red Sea and let us go back. We shall not go back. Amen. 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 Irrespective of what is ahead of us. Yeah. We've gone too far. Yeah. And the journey is just 40 days. Yeah. Hmm. The journey is just 40 days. We don't want to look at the aspect that the 40 days journey was turned to 400 uh, years journey. But we want to look at the fact that the journey was so short. Yeah. Your journey is short. Yeah. Forget about your age. We said it in the lesson today that a thousand years mm. is like a day before the Lord. The journey is too short yeah. and you've gone too far. Why will you stop? Why will you not keep going? May God give you the grace. Amen. Another reason you have to keep going is the fact that there is no vacancy in the camp you left. If you go back, the devil will mess you up because there is no more seat for you. There is no more space. Immediately you left, somebody took over. And so you can't go back. Do you want to go back and float in the camp of the enemy? Do you want to go back and be messed up in the camp of the enemy? So why will you go back? The God will give you the grace to keep going. Amen. 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 There is no vacancy in the camp. That camp you left. And you made up your mind that you want to continue this journey. That you want to go the way. You know, you said, all to Jesus I surrender. Yeah. I've given my all unto you. Yeah. 
the CGS song we sang, it said, oh, Jesus, I have promised yes. to serve you to the end. Yes. No vacancy. And you won't go back in Jesus' name. Amen. Another reason why you need to keep going is because you have limited strength. The strength you have with you cannot cover the journey you have left. You just have the little strength to take you home. Amen. There is no strength to go back the journey you have left because you've gone too far. The little strength left in you is just to get into that city. So what happens when you want to go back and the strength in you cannot take you back to your previous destination? Are you not going for destruction? The only strength you have now is that strength that God has kept in you to push you forward, to take you forward. And God is telling you, don't worry, my son. Amen. Don't worry, my brother. Amen. The journey is nearby. Don't worry. It is a short journey. That strength is enough to take you, but it's not enough to take you back. It's not enough to take you back. And God will strengthen you. Amen. 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 God will strengthen you. Because he has given you promises. Yeah. And God does not fail does in his promises. <laughs> one of the final ones we want to look at now is because Kina is just in sight. Amen. Amen. Cana is just in sight. Yeah. You remember the Christian in his pilgrimage? While he was on the way, he said he could see a city. Yeah. God revealed to him the city, and he saw it. And he was determined in his heart that he must make it, irrespective of the way, irrespective of what the devil was going to do, irrespective of the fact that along the way he got tired he slept off. He fell into the trap of the evil one. But that focus in him did not go away. Cana is in sight. Amen. You, you, you think heaven is far? No, heaven is here. Amen. It's here. It's nearby. Amen. In other words, you've gone too far. You are closer. You know, the more, the, when the battle is about to be won, yeah. it's tougher. Yeah. It's hotter. That is the point. A lot of decisions start coming. Yeah. Can I continue? Should I keep going? My brother, keep going. The Lord is going to strengthen you. It is not by grace. It is not by power. You know what about the journey? It's not by the mighty. It is not by strength. It is not how much I can pray. It is not how much I can read the Bible. It's not how much I can do it. It is just the grace of God. And that grace we have for you. That grace will keep you. Amen. And that grace will help you. Amen. You won't fall by the wayside. Amen. You know, when God promised Joshua, remember, Joshua was one of those who made the land. So when God promised, if God has promised you, just as he's promising you now, he will take you there. Amen. We will reach our goal. Amen. Many times on the journey, we get to a point where when we, 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 we look at these reasons, and in our heart, we don't want to draw back. But yet, we are still under pressures. Pressure right, pressure left. Pressure back, pressure forward. And still we get to a point that we don't even know who to talk to. We don't know who to call upon. Even our closest heart, our husbands, our wives, our children, those who are so close to us, they are not in the situation to help. But at that point in time, when we look unto God and say, God, you started this journey with me so many years ago or yesterday. You have said I should be on this journey and that you are going to see me through. 
when we look up unto him, he will be there for us. He will never fail us. He is our God. His love has never failed. How do we keep going? Eating the word of God. How do we keep going? Meditating. You know, God told Joshua, after all the promises, he told him in verse 7, he said, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it from the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. That is the key. Not by strength, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Amen. All you need is that grace, Amen. the Word of God. That don't turn away from it. Don't add to it. Don't remove out of it. Don't allow people to deceive you. The Bible is the Word of God. Amen. For each time you take it and read it, it is as if God is standing physically and talking to you. Amen. Don't allow the devil to interpret it to you. As God is talking to you, the Spirit of God is behind the word, giving you the right interpretation. Don't turn away from it. And God said, meditate in this word, day in, day out. Don't read the Bible because if I, I don't want them to ask me if I have read the Bible. No, that is not the purpose. Read the Bible, study it, meditate on it, and you, you will keep going. Amen. Another uh, uh, help is to keep close to Jesus. Hmm. We've never been on this journey before. It is a journey that we do not know. We can't go by ourselves. We have no strength. But because God said he's going to be with us, we should keep close to him. Do you know, somebody can be with you and you are far from him. No, that's not what God wants. He said, keep close to Jesus. We don't want anything to pull us away from him. We want to be very close. The reason is this. We will get to a point. We will, tum- we will stumble against the stone. When we are about to fall, he's near us. Amen. You know, it's just like you as a parent going, ab- going on the road with your child. If he's far away from you, if he's about to fall, before you get there, he's on the floor. But if you are close to Jesus, before you fall, he knows there is a stone there. It is not that he cannot remove that stone. He wants to leave that stone there. So that when you hit your leg, he can help you. That is why you need to keep close to him. We need to pray. If you want to keep going, you need to pray all the time. My sister said, we should always raise our hands up. It it may not be the physical raising of hands. It is prayer. Because the day you drop your hand, you start being defeated. But when you keep praying, victory is sure. So when you pray, the strength to go on the way comes to you. When you pray, the grace to go on the way comes to you. When you pray, the, you see the spiritual, you have a spiritual insight to see that the journey is not far. You have the spiritual insight to see that Kenna is nearby. And therefore, there is nothing that draws you behind. You are ever ready to go. That is the power of prayer. Amen. Not forsaking the assembly of one another. Mm, the importance of being in the service. The Bible says, iron sharpeneth iron. When I, when I am on the journey and I'm about to fall, and the brother says, oh, I was on this journey, I was about to fall. This was what God did for me and I stood. I can say, oh, so I can stand. Testimonies help each other. Yes. We pray for each other. Yes. Like I said earlier, this journey is not a journey you can go on your own. It is not a journey of you think you are on your own. You are a help to the brother beside you. You are a help to the sister beside you. And that is why the two of you must work together. Look at how uh, four of them, uh, Aaron, Hall, Joshua, and Moses, work together. And it was victory. When we work together, there is victory. Amen. Never think you are going to run. Eh, no, let me be going on my own. And let him be going on his own. No way there can be victory. We must come together, not forsaking the assembly of one another. Reaching out to Jesus. Have you reached out to Jesus this morning? Jesus is here. 
the fountain of the living water. Amen. If you want to keep going, you need to reach out to him. You need to reach out to him. Yeah. If you have not, yeah. this is the time. The fountain is still flowing. And the journey is still there. Remember, it's a journey you must make. Keep going, my brother. Keep going, my sister. Canaan is nearby. Amen. Your heavenly home is nearby. Amen. Keep close to Jesus. Amen. And he will see you through. Amen. We will not fall along the way. Amen. We will not fall by the wayside. Amen. He will take us through. Amen. Let us keep close to Jesus. Amen. And he will see us through. God bless you as you come down to the altar to pray. Or kneel down wherever you are and talk to the Lord. He will answer your prayers. God bless you as we pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for loving us so much. Oh Lord, as we fall before you, we pray, oh Lord, that you bless us with your spirit, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of meditation, as we want to be close to you so that we will get to our eternal destination. Save our souls even now. Sanctify us right now, Lord. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and encourage us, oh Lord. Send upon us the spirit of fervent prayer that we pray our way through to victory today and let us go home rejoicing. For in Jesus' name we pray.